let's try to understand meditation how do we do meditation place it down in a good atmosphere in silent place during the the timings when the disturbances are least preferably early mornings and late nights please listen to this documentary on meditation meditation let's try to understand some points regarding meditation aaye hum samajhne ki koshish karte hain meditation ke bare mein kuch cheeze This is an article by Krish Deshpande. Let's see what his views are regarding meditation. Meditation on the move. Sample these situations. We often find ourselves in feeling bored, waiting for the flight or train. waiting in car while the spouse is shopping or waiting to pick up your children at a birthday party here then any time anywhere experiment to get into the inside of your mind so direct it doesn't matter if you prefer to keep your eyes closed or open either arrangement is okay not for the beginner open eyes tend to distract breathe normally now shift your attention to the mind to begin do nothing with it to begin do nothing with it just let the mind be just let the mind be keep observing it without getting distracted allow those arising thoughts to float around without giving them any treatment have i thought that arises may or may not be accompanied by an emotion that does not matter just observe the mind will tend to grasp the rising thought chase it melt on it until this conceptualizing reaches a dead end and falls on reaching the dead end with no way to else to go the mind grasps on a new thought that arises and the mind begins to chase this new thought and the process goes on In a span of few minutes, depending on how hyperactive the mind has been, the never ceasing cycle of arising, chasing, dead end, ending, falling goes on and on. However, when you focus some more, you will also notice that as your observation towards the mind gets more intense the rising of thoughts gets slower too much like crystals of sugar settling down in a glass of water after a quick stir observe this slowing down of thoughts you will begin to be amused with this observation this does not mean the mind has stopped talking on the next thought to launch another chase our observation has only slowed down the process now be attentive to observe further 
not between passing of the previous thought and arising, arising of a new one. There exists a head breadth of gap that you might sense. A very fleeting one, but it does exist. It exists by itself in pure, pristine, fresh, virgin and unmanipulated state. This is identified as the nature of our mind. Size this gap so you recognize it to be able to work on it. Try and get a hang of this gap that is pure, unaltered and in total awareness. Try to rest in this gap for as long as you can. Initially, this may be possible only for a few seconds. Trusting in this gap for a few moments, one feels peaceful and refreshed. This is our Buddha mind itself. If nothing else, prolong, prolonging this recognition for as long as you can is meditation. In Tibetan Buddhist texts, this gap is referred to as Rikpa, or pronounced Rikpa. If you are in an unaltered state, it's Rikpa, says Dilgo Khaintis Rinpoche, a great master of Tibetan Buddhism of the 20th century. The repeated practice of the simple anytime, anywhere method of generating awareness, it becomes easily possible to familiarize ourselves with our base mind. That is otherwise clouded by all sorts of delusions and defilements. How cool is it? Uh, how cool is that? Caution, it is advised not to try this after consuming alcohol simply because as the nature of alcohol is to confuse, the recognition will be difficult and what you will experience instead is a dull, dark and grey state which is certainly not our true nature. And yes, for the safety of yourself and the family, this is not to be tried by beginners when driving vehicle. Some points I would like to add regarding meditation. Meditation is an act of having a zero state of mind. A state of a state with no thoughts, a state with no goals, no pressures, zero thoughts. A state where you are enjoying the beauty and bliss of the nature, a state where you are is in a good ambience, a state where you enjoy nothingness, a state where you enjoy nothingness. It is suggested to be in meditation in peaceful, pleasant atmosphere of nature and preferably during the times when there is no external disturbances, early morning and late nights.
just being in nature, enjoying the breeze, enjoying the air, enjoying the sounds of the birds, enjoying the chilly cool of the atmosphere, enjoying the stones, the rocks, Playing with the trees, with the grass, with the plants was great. It is very important to feed a lot of silence to the mind. It is lot of very it's very much important to feed the mind with a lot of silence. It is important to be in nature for a certain period of time at least, every day, to get the healing and charging effect of the nature. Try out. You can learn and understand meditation by experiencing it. By experiencing it. So sit down for some time daily and experience the meditation. Experience the emptiness of mind. Meditation is actually emptiness of mind. Empty station. Empty station. Making the mind station empty is amputation. That is real meditation.